I feel like a woman. When I wake up in the morning and the lawn gets out of water, I don't think I'll ever make it on time. By the time I grab my books and I give myself a look, I'm at the corner just in time to see the bus fly by. It's all right, cause I'm safe out the bill. If the teacher pops a test, I know I'm in a mess, and my dog ate all my homework last night. Riding low on my chair, she won't know that I'm there. If I can hand it in tomorrow, it'll be all right. It's all right, cause I'm safe by the bell. It's all right, cause I'm safe by the bell. It's all right, cause I'm safe by the bell. Good morning, Avon. I'm Isaac Brown. And I'm Maria Perez. Thanks for watching the Aura Report on this morning. We are bringing you news and entertainment today with everything from a fun cooking YouTube channel to uh, follow, plus a feature on our drumline and more. Let's begin with a look at our top story. Apple has announced its first big product event of the year. And surprise, surprise, it's next week. On Tuesday, Apple is rumored to be unveiling a series of new MacBooks and iMacs, a 5G version of its more affordable iPhone SE and an updated iPad Air. Meanwhile, Apple has stopped selling its products in Russia due to the invasion of Ukraine. Let, now let's check in with Aaron for our Avon forecast. Thanks, Isaac. Get ready for some more nice weather. Today we have cloudy skies with a high temperature of 54 degrees and a low of 27. Tomorrow it gets even better. We're looking at sunny skies with a high of up to 71 degrees and a low of 43. Sunday we have a 50% chance of rain, that's okay. The high will be 60 with a low of 48, so it's staying away from those freezing temperatures. And on Monday, we start out the new week with more rain, a high of 50 and a low of 37 before it dries back out for most of the week. We'll keep you updated here on our, our Oreo forecast. Back to you. The Avon World Drumline is back with new show this year. Our very own Emma Basinger talked to some members to see what it is all about. So it's called The Playbook, and it's really about the journey to become great without receiving the end like goal, right? It's really about embracing um, the journey as a whole and understanding that that is what um, separates the greatest from like the good. It's about really the journey to becoming great, and it bases itself around sports because, I mean, that's an easy thing to look at a journey of, of people practicing and working really hard to just achieve a higher level of greatness um, and it really tells like a story of like an athlete going through a specific journey in their training and then ends right when their game or competition or whatever starts because that's not what we're looking towards what we're looking towards is greatness it's basically just like a build-up of becoming something great in general I think I'm looking forward to improving, like in general, like with the people I'm going to be with the whole time, but also just like getting in a better state so that I know what I can work on throughout like high school career and stuff like that since I'm a freshman. I'm most looking forward to performing and just showing everyone this like piece of art that we've made and expressing it to a crowd because I haven't gotten to perform in a long time for an indoor show and I'm really excited about that. This season I'm most looking forward to honestly wearing the uniforms because I think they look really cool and then just performing with all my friends and definitely being able to go to WGI this year. You can come see the World Drumline on March 5th at Franklin Central High School, March 12th at Perry Meridian, March 19th here at Avon High School, or April 2nd in Terre Haute. For AHS News, I'm Emma Basinger. Calling all students interested in animation. You can be part of our animation club. You do not have to be part of the class to join the club. The next meeting is just a couple weeks away. On Tuesday, March 15th, during Gold SRT. So mark your, mark your calendar now. Stop by E204 before then to get a club pass from Mrs. Tower. You can also reach out to the club president, Thomas Walker, for more information. Come see what it's all about. All eyes are on the 2022 NFL Combine. Who are the draft picks to watch? Let's check in with Alexis for an update in sports. Preparations are high in this week 
with more than 300 of the top prospects in Indy for the annual NFL Scouting Combine. It will be going on through Monday at Lucas Oil Stadium. Players undergo medical testing, on-field drills, and interviews with team personnel and media. It is also where a lot of trade talk happens. So here are some look for so here are some players to look for. The highest grade edge defender in college football, Aiden Hutchinson, has multiple ways to win with his blend of quicks and power. At 6'4 and 220 pounds, Kyle Hamilton is said to be a modern hybrid defender who can do whatever he is asked. When he missed Notre Dame's final five games with a minor knee injury, he came down with three picks and three pass breakups in his first seven. Derek Stingley has allowed only a 4.1 compensation percentage for his career and has been starting since his freshman year. George Kay is a versatile Ironman. He plays at least 49 snaps, but in one game this past season. We, this will all lead up to the big draft, which will be April 28th through the 30th. We'll keep you updated here on your Avon Action. Back to you. Do you like cooking or more importantly, eating? Selfie Chef shows us one YouTube channel you might want to subscribe to. Today we're going to be following a recipe from the one and only Kay's Cooking channel on YouTube. If you're unfamiliar as to who Kay is, she is this lovely woman from what I can only assume is the United Kingdom, and she makes recipes for people to watch and follow, so. If you scroll through her uploads, you may see that everything has this same kind of grayish beige to it, but don't let that instill fear in you or deter you from recreating these, because I'm sure they're just magnificent. So the recipe we're going to be following today is for potato cakes, and I don't really know what those are. I've never indulged in them before, but this video is only four and a half minutes long, so they cannot possibly be that difficult to make. But who knows? Only time will tell. Before we get started in the kitchen, we are going to watch the video so that you guys have some familiarity with Kay's cooking, and so I know what I'm doing and don't burn my house down. Hi, people. Hello, Kay. And today I'm going to be making potato cakes. <laughs> what just happened? I think she forgot what we we're making today, which doesn't make me feel very confident in this, but <laughs> maybe it'll get better. Okay, starting off simple with just potatoes. Mm -hmm. Spotatoes. <laughs> Spotatoes. Honey arms. What? No, hold on, we have to go back. I don't understand what she just said. Honey yams. Okay, I... What? Honey yams? I don't know what those are. What? Had half, I mean, add half. <laughs> She's adding half of them, but I don't know what these are. They look almost identical to the potatoes. Oh, no. <laughs> and then it said... Salt. Oops. So we've now been introduced to our third ingredient. Whole-purpose flour. All-purpose flour, but she doesn't tell us how much. So I guess we're gonna eyeball it and use an eighth of a Tupperware container. And then it says one egg. I skipped all of her cooking it. It's basically like five minutes on each side, I guess. I don't know. The taste test. It just tastes like mashed potatoes and onions. Onions! It's onions! Guys, she said mashed potatoes and onions. But you guys have to hear how she said goodbye. Thank you. Bye. I think her throat closed from how dry the potato cakes were. <laughs> I don't know. I guess now it's time to make it. Welcome to my kitchen in all its glory. We need potatoes, onions, salt, flour, and egg. One egg. Hold on. All five of the ingredients are out. I just need to mash the potatoes and dice the onion. So, whatever. I don't want to hear it. This is not, we're not about perfection on the Sophie Schick YouTube channel, okay? We are about efficiency and effectiveness and nothing else. This is when she literally just filled up a Tupperware container and didn't tell us how much flour to put in. Mm, it's more like a sixth, maybe a fifth, but I don't have a problem with flour. Get in. Oh my god, she said that too. She was like, 
get in that. She was really violent with it, but I cut that out. Let me put that in right here. Whole purpose flower. Get in, get in. Also, maybe I should have gotten rid of some of the egg. I know I said exactly one egg, but I forgot I've like changed her portion size. So it's getting a little yellow and I don't really know what to do about that. I don't want to put more flour because I already did too much flour. And I'm not doing more potatoes. That was a hassle and a half. I find it really funny that if you look on my stovetop, you can see where a potato like dropped over on the other side when I was trying to pour it into the pot. So you can see the little like smear. Anyway, it's time to pour this in. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look that great, but I mean, Oh, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, put that over here. Okay. We're gonna try to form this quickly. I now see why Kay had a problem. Why is it already like one solid form? Oh my God, watch. Ah! Okay, moment of truth. Oh, I burnt it. <laughs> okay, I believe it's done. Oh. This looks disgusting, and it's leaving a brown little smudge wherever it goes. You guys see that? This is awful. Listen how dense it sounds. Oh my god. Here it is. I've gotten the cross section of it, if you can see that. Still steaming. Um, it kind of feels and looks like a lobster cake or a crab cake, which is a little concerning. Here we go. Bon appetit. Why do I like it? Maybe Kane does know what she's doing. Maybe I underestimated her and her recipes. I cannot believe how this has worked out. Um, I guess that's all for this video then. Um, <laughs> okay, well, bye guys. See you in the next one. Looking for something to do this weekend? Here are some events happening around Indi Indianapolis that you'll find both fun and entertaining. The Butler Theater is performing Pippin. It's Engineers Day at the Children's Museum. Local engineers will lead hands-on lessons. The Indiana Pacers take on the Oklahoma City Thunder tonight. And the Boston C Celtics Sunday at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. You can find more details and other events at visitindy.com. That's all for your Oreo Report today. Have a great day, Avon. So she tries